is Orlando day two, day two of our travel videos, or day three technically, if you count our travel day, and it's our second full day at Disney. It's our Magic Kingdom today. We're only doing three days at Disney, so we're doing sort of a park in each, and then sort of the last day we're doing Animal Kingdom and Epcot combined, and it's our big full-on Magic Kingdom day today, which we're all very excited about. We're gonna miss maybe just the start of Magic Hours, just because by the time we've got up and got ready, we've missed a little bit of it, but it looks like it's gonna be such a beautiful day today. The sun is shining, like we've been watching the sunrise over the Magic Kingdom and it's just lovely. So we can walk to Magic Kingdom from where we're staying, which is Disney's Contemporary Resort. So we're gonna head there in just a minute and we're very, very excited to be going to the Magic Kingdom. And if you found this video just by chance, I'm doing Disney and Orlando videos every single day while we're here. Obviously by the time you watch these, we'll be at home, but I'm gonna be doing a video a day and so I've done two already and I'm gonna be doing some for the next few days as well. So I'd love you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. And now we're gonna get going to the Magic Kingdom. It is so cold. It's really, really cold. It's like eight degrees and we're all in shorts. So it is funny weather forecasted for while we're here. So yesterday was really quite cold and like windy um, and we were wearing shorts and jumpers and we were quite cold. And then today is looking to be like pure sun and up to 21. So we're risking shorts because in my experience, like Orlando weather can get, it, it can feel hotter than it actually is, if that makes sense. Um, but currently we're very cold, Lottie, aren't we? Lottie's like, oh my gosh, it's cold. You can risk wearing shorts. <laughs> it is cold. And then towards the end of the week, it's looking really nice and sunny and like up to 30. So very sporadic weather. There's the contemporary resort in the background. And then here's the walkway where we're walking. You've got your own little security line here so you don't have to wait in the normal line. Filming you, filming me. She's just taken a, our small camera and she's videoing. These, these video clips will never make the, uh, the internet. They're for our, for our pure family pleasure. So this is a, what was it, a Cheshire yes. cat's tail. It's yeah. a Danish pastry with a twist. Try it, Lou, is it nice? No, really. Can I try some? Oh, Rennie, sorry, you try some. What we tend to do is we tend to get one sort of snack between everyone, which means we can get lots of snacks from different places, don't we? Buzz Lightyear and the Tomorrowland Speedway in about 40 minutes. That's really good. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go and get Hello. some Mickey Waffles from Liberty Square, around that direction somewhere. So we're gonna go right down there. Okay, we're I'll past the car. We've got a Disney romance here. Da 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 Dis oh, oh. This is where we're going for Mickey Waffles. Sleepy Hollow Refreshments. A giant, I can't even fit them in the camera. We've got a giant, we've also got one that's been eaten already. <laughs> but we've got a giant Mickey waffle with whipped cream. Like, it's literally huge. I don't even think the camera is showing it. You're taking it away, I'm trying to video it. He's trying to eat it and I'm trying to video it. And I don't even know what this is. This is a funnel cake, which we've never had before, which is also huge. You try it and then huge give us the honours. Huge and delicious. I'll be honest, I've already tried it. That, what's it taste like? It's good, it is it's quite good. good. I tried it. You tried it? Is it like pancake or? Um, it's like waffle, but like, oh, that is, that is just a masterpiece. So I've got a Mickey waffle on my uh, key ring that I've had for years, haven't I? <laughs> With my house keys on it. Oh, so good. Here we go. Jump on in. Up higher, higher. We are on runaway mine train.
Lottie and Ren and Maddie, to be fair as well, bought some Christmas money with them, which we exchanged into dollars. And Lottie and Ren both bought one of these bubble things, but they're actually so cool. We'll show you them at night, won't we? Yeah. When they they do it, really cool it, stuff at night. Yeah, it's like really. Like well, they're so cool and then you can buy refills you although we might go to the supermarket and buy some refills as well yeah, can you do that? Yeah, I should imagine so you just need bubble refill so look at these these are mac and cheese bites there's like macaroni cheese underneath and then potatoes and bacon and chives and sour cream continuing on with our day of eating we've now got a pineapple dole whip yours is the float version yeah so Maddie, the other two had an ice cream while we were watching the parade, so Maddie's got this one. And then we have got, or everyone else is just having nibbles of this one, which is just the pineapple doll ice cream. Is it ice cream or is it yogurt? Mm, I don't know. But it's, I don't even really like pineapple, but it's absolutely delicious. So good. We're having already, we've only just got out of the monorail and we're already having discussions about who's going to open the hotel door with the key card. Last night we had full blown tears because Lottie opened the door and that was me crying, no, it was Ren. Um, he had tears because he wanted to open the door and Lottie, and Lottie opened it. So now it's Ren's turn to open the door. It's your turn, isn't it today, darling? Quick, open the door, quick. Quick, quick. Children are strange, aren't they? We're back in our hotel room now. We weren't really sure how the day was gonna go. We couldn't decide whether we were gonna come back for a bit, a little bit earlier on. I thought you were talking to me, John and Ren are discussing pins. We love pin collecting. I don't know if you've ever heard of that. I don't even know if I've mentioned that in the videos, but you can basically trade pins and the kids love doing it. It's Ren's first time doing it because when we last came in 2018, he was really little, so he wouldn't have been able to do it. So they're just discussing pins. But I didn't know how the day was gonna go. I didn't know whether we would come back a little bit earlier, stay out for an hour, or stay in the room, sorry, for an hour, and then go back to Magic Kingdom. But we kind of feel like we've done what we need to do in Magic Kingdom for today. It's about half past five now, and we thought we would just come back, and then we might go to the Boardwalk, which is one of my absolute favorite places in Disney. And we were planning to do this towards the end of the week, because we've only got park tickets for three days, so we kind of want to maximize our time in the parks and places like the Disney Boardwalk and all the resorts and also Disney Springs you don't need a park ticket to go into them so we kind of thought we would do Boardwalk towards the end of the week but we were all sort of walking around Magic Kingdom it's also a beautiful day by the way as well now and John has got a little bit sunburned he's quite red um, I don't know how he got caught out like it's not that hot, hot it? no it's not it's only like 20 degrees but you know the sun the sun can be damaging whenever um but john is the type of like skin that will go red quite quickly um but yeah we were all walking along in the sunshine in magic kingdom and i don't even remember who suggested it but someone was like should we go to the boardwalk like it would be such a nice evening to go to the boardwalk it will get colder later because it is february here but everyone was like, oh yeah, let's go to the boardwalk. And then we might do something else, which I'll tell you about if we end up doing it. So I think we might do that. And then we were like, should we not do the fireworks? But because we can see the fireworks from our room, I, I still wonder whether we might do the fireworks on our last night. I don't know, but we really enjoy watching it in the room as well. So I can't decide. I can't decide whether, we're just gonna go with the flow basically. I think we're probably gonna go to the boardwalk unless something changes in the next hour or so. And I'd like to get down there for some sort of sunset maybe. And then we might just have a wander around, take some pictures, maybe go for some pizza. If they used to have like a really good like pizza window there, so we'll have to see if that's still there. And just go with the flow really. So we are gonna spend, everyone just needs a little bit of downtime. I think this is the beauty of staying in this resort that you can just like come home, we came home on the monorail. And I think we're just gonna have maybe 40 minutes, an hour downtime, the kids are gonna play on their iPad. The sun is literally beaming onto our balcony so I'm gonna sit um, on the balcony and upload some stories to Instagram because I'm really behind on doing that 
and just chill in the sunshine a little bit. John was like, I might have a sleep, um, which is fine, and um, <laughs> which is up to him. And then I think in about 40 minutes to an hour, we're gonna head out again. Just send, spreading the bubble love around. Driving home for Christmas, driving home for fireworks. I can't wait to see those fireworks. You're not looking very impressed by me, John. I look really tired, and that is because I am really tired. But we've had another lovely day at Disney. We absolutely loved being in the Magic Kingdom. It was just as magical as I remembered. Again, we managed to get lots done. I would definitely recommend if you are only doing like a day in the park or a couple of days in the park. Obviously, it depends on what you're doing. If you're doing two weeks at Disney or a week solely at Disney, then you might not necessarily need it. I'm talking backwards. What I was gonna say was, I would definitely recommend Genie Plus if you are just staying like a day or so like we are. So I think it depends price-wise. Um, I think people People, like got a little bit sort of I think it's had a bit of negative press because obviously the fast pass system that they used to have used to be amazing and why change a good thing I guess but we are really enjoying Genie Plus it's definitely I think I if I'm honest I did prefer the fast pass system but Genie Plus is really good especially if you are only in the park for a day or so like I said so we are using it I think it cost us $20 per person but it means that we have literally been able to sort of like walk on rides and stuff it's a little bit different I did quite a lot of research on like um, Disney blogs and stuff before I went so I sort of knew all the ins and outs of it but it is really good but anyway so we managed to get lots done and then this evening we went to the boardwalk which again I would go as far to say everyone's really sleepy now John I would go as far as to say the boardwalk is probably one of my favorite parts of the entire of Disney yeah, I just love it. The only thing was tonight was a little bit chilly again. It just seems, I, you know, I know it is February and it is winter for Florida. Even Florida has a winter, but it was a little bit chilly. So we did go prepared in like jumpers and trousers and stuff, but it was a little bit cold. Although me and Lottie were quite cold and everyone else was absolutely fine. Yeah. I don't know why we were cold, Lots. Compared to yesterday when we were in Hollywood Studios, it was freezing. Yeah, it was cold yesterday. It's been a really lovely day today. In fact, it's been really, really nice during the day. It just gets a bit colder at night time. But we sat and had some pizza and we watched a magician who was amazing. I think I actually remember him from a few years ago. Yeah, do you think he was? He was really, he's really, really good. And then we were going to go, what I was going to say earlier that we were maybe going to do is we were going to maybe go and get a Mickey sink, but um, we decided not to. If we do go, I will show you what a Mickey sink is. We might go later on in the week when we're no longer doing like Disney, but we might go. I think that's the beauty of Disney. Like even if you aren't doing the Disney parks, you can still go and experience lots of Disney because um, you can go into the resorts and you can go to the boardwalk and you can go to Disney Springs and stuff. So we might do that later on in the week. But it was a really nice evening, and we're all really tired to be honest, and we really want to like properly go for it on our last day at Disney tomorrow. So I think we're just gonna like go to sleep. I just want to sort of edit a few things on my Instagram or for my Instagram rather um, but thank you for watching day two our second full day and please stay like watching and I will put my third video up soon see you later Bye.